welcome to horse galaxy so in the previous video i have shared one question that how we can bypass the validation rules and the automation when a user is performing mass dml operations or a data loader uploading and inserting so uh, in this case how i can avoid the validation rules to not to fire so in this video i have shared the demo that how we can create uh, or how we can use the hierarchical custom setting and how we can avoid these validation and automations okay so uh, let's move to our screen and here we're going to show you how we're going to create how the, it will going to work and how we will going to use them in our automations and the validation rules okay okay so here first we will going to create the custom setting so from the quick find box we will go move write the custom setting and move to the custom setting page okay and here we will going to create new so let's name this hierarchical setting okay and the object name will be the same and the next in the setting type we have the option to select which type of custom setting you want to create either hierarchy or the list so we will select the first option here and the visibility will be public so now let's add the description this is just to pass the uh, validation and the automations and next will be save so we are done with the uh, creation of this custom setting now we have to add the fields how many fields we want to create so this depends if you want to create multiple fields for the multiple object to handle or the same one field only for all the uh, validations and all so now for now let's create only one field checkbox type field for the validation rule and for the automations okay so this is to bypass the validation rule bypass validation okay and next we will create the another checkbox type field this is to pass the automations okay so whenever uh, if i want to bypass these uh, validations rule i will going to use this validation field and if i want to bypass this automation i will going to use automation field okay now next move to this manage tab and here you will see the first option default organization level value and next next option to set up owner so in this default organization level value you will going to set the value which is by default be same for all that is let's make this true and if none of the user is selected in this setup owner then the default value will be taken as true okay so now here in the uh, hierarchical setting we will get the option to select the location based on user or the profile so like for this profile i don't i want to avoid all these validations or for this user i want to avoid this so for now here i have selected only kanika as this is only the active user and for this user i want to bypass validations rule okay so for now let's mark both as true okay so for this user also by uh, validation rule will also work and the automation also work okay now let's first mark them true and we will test with this what will happen now let's save this and now next we will move to our uh, any of the validation rules so so here as you can see the default value will also be true for both the checkboxes that is if none of the user is selected in the setup owner it will go it will the value will be true and for the users which have uh, added for them it will going to take the value which we have added in this particular users for this checkboxes so now we will going to use this custom setting in our validation rule and the automation so here i am on account let's see on account do we have any validation rule so in which we can use this so here okay validation rule and any simple validation rule is this one okay so in this what is happening it will avoid user to create more than one opportunity okay it will depend upon the value on this counting field so here uh, let's check this whether it is working or not so currently i have added none of the fields there only the simple validation rule is running so here i am trying to create another opportunity more than one so as per the validation rule it shows the error okay we cannot create more than one okay now next is let's add our hierarchical custom setting here okay and the user is same kanika okay so here 
we will going to select our custom setting which we have recently created and in this custom setting as you can see there are the two fields so we will going to select validation one so here it is added with the and condition okay so if the value of this validation is true and the counting value is greater than one then this validation rule will going to fire okay so if you remember in the default organization we have made this validation value true and for the user also we have made this value true for both it is true now that is it will going to apply on the user also this user also which are for the hierarchical custom setting and the default it will always going to always going to be true so now let's try this so it should fire the validation rule this time So save so yes it has given us the error now we will going to use our custom setting to bypass this validation rule so what we will do we will mark this as false and save this so what will happen the default value here will be true for this validation rule but for the user which we have added here it will be false so now let's try to create this so condition this time will not satisfy and it will successfully create the validation rule okay this is for the validation rule okay next we will going to check for the automation so if i want to auto bypass the automations also for the user like automation like workflow process builders triggers flows and all okay so here uh, default will going to be true that is for all the user except this kanika we will going to manage the bypass or the avoid of avoid of this rules so here is the simple uh, workflow rule on which we will going to try this custom setting so here uh, we are updating the field if the rating value is hot it will going to change the type value to prospect okay so now here let's add the custom setting edit and here in the criteria based we will not get the option to uh, select the custom setting but in the formula we will get the option so from here we will going to insert the field and in and condition we will add the condition of this rating so here we have add the field bypass automation and in condition the value is pick list so we will going to select function is pick well and the rating equals to what okay okay so it is done now so the default value will be remain true for this and for the user as per the user checkbox value it will going to bypass or will going to enforce so now let's move to the custom setting and check whether what is the current value for this user in manage so for now it is uh, marked as true okay now let's move to the record account record and let's see will it update the type field or not so whenever the rating is hot okay the prospect will move to uh, type will move to prospect so it is fired so now let's try to bypass this and make the value for this bypass automation false and in this condition will it bypass or will it going to enforce let's check and the default will be true that is except this kanika for all other user it will be true now here let's uh, another condition so here type is something different now let's save this so as you can see type value did not change so that which means it has bypassed the workflow rule for this user so this is how we can use the custom settings uh, whenever we want to bypass these validation rules and the automation instead of manually activating and deactivating them and then again activating so instead of this what we can do we can select a user or we can select a profile and for them we can manage the checkboxes whether to fire the uh, validation rules or not at the time of data uploading or performing any dms we can easily handle this from this checkboxes if you guys find this video useful and if you have any queries or question do let me know in the comment section 
and I have noted all the topic which you have shared in the comment section and the queries and will try to upload videos on these questions and the topic as soon as possible okay and so we'll meet you soon in the next video till then take care goodbye